Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel where I discuss Tesla, electric vehicles and renewable energy. If this is your first time to my channel, then hello and welcome. Take a moment to hit that red subscribe button, that way you stay informed of any new content and it also helps my channel to grow as well. Today we're standing in front of a beautiful brand new long range Tesla Model 3, brand new build from the Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai. We're going to review it and test its charging capacity. We're going to do that and much more right after this. All right, so here we are guys at the Seven Hills Caltex in front of the EV 350 kilowatt chargers. And many thanks again to Ann Schull for loaning us his beautiful brand new long range Tesla Model 3, which he took delivery of last week. It's a build from the Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai. Let's have a look at the car, take a little walk around that beautiful deep red. Let's look at the LED matrix lights, the brand new lights. Here we are there. Do a little more walk around. Nice sport wheels there. Let's have a look at what tires he gets with the car. So Hankooks, 235, 40R, 19 inch, very nice, check this out, that carbon fiber, uh, repeater cameras, casing, very nice there, All right, let's pan back, there's that chrome delete look, that all Tesla Model 3s have now. Very good. Doesn't that red just look amazing? Absolutely amazing. I love it. Alright, let's get behind the charger. Sorry. Just quickly. Okay, so. Is that dual motor badging? Long range dual motor of course we'll look at the uh, panel gaps build quality all those things in more detail once I finish walking around we'll look at the heated steering wheel and we'll also look at the, uh, the pedestrian speaker to see whether we can find a speaker under that grill there there we are Long range Tesla Model 3 from the Gigafactory Shanghai. Excellent. All right, I thought I'd start with uh, charging the car before we do the internal review to get things going. So let's open the charge port. There we are. Let's uh, go back to the charger here. It says connect plug. All right, let's grab the Type 2 charger. CCS2, Type 2, hook it up to the car. Okay, now it says plug connected. All right, let's go to the EV app. All right, hope you guys can see that. All right, let's press that. Two available, DC fast charge. All right, so we are station four. Let's press number four there. Okay, 60 cents per kilowatt hour. All right, let's go to the car and see what state of charge we've got to start with. Okay, anshul has got it on distance, so we might just change that over to display. Let's scroll down to energy. Okay. So he's got it on 19%. This will be interesting to see how fast we can get it. So let's press begin charge. All right, got it on PayPal. Next. Connecting. All right, payment accepted. Starting session. Your charging session is underway. Woohoo! Alright. 
Takes a little time to turn green and there we go, flashing green. All right, let's see whether we can set a new charging record today. How exciting. Hopefully we can get it up super high. If it's gonna be high, it's gonna happen in the next five minutes or so. Hopefully we can catch that on this time lapse. And uh, once we hit the peak, we'll go inside the car and do an internal review of the car. But I'm hopeful, it's quite a nice day, not too cold. And Angel's driven a fair distance to get here today, so the car is nice and warm. Ramping up there. Here we go. 169. Oh, might peak at 169 today. That's all we're going to get. I think that might be it. That might be the peak. Okay, for the long range Model 3. Back down we go. All right, 169. That is the peak, I think. Oh, unless it's going up again. Nope, no, nope. it's sort of hitting 150. But that's all we're going to get for now. All right, guys, we're inside the uh, long range Tesla Model 3, and I'm sure all of you are looking forward to seeing the heated steering wheel. I know I am. So let's get straight to it. Oop, sorry. And let's press the aircon button, fan button there. And there it is. That's a new heated steering wheel button. I've not seen that before. Let's press it now. I put my hands on the wheel and just see how hot it actually gets. Not feeling the heat just yet. Again, not, not a big issue here in Australia. We don't get that cold climate even in winter, but I guess in colder countries, this would be a very welcome feature indeed. And I can actually start to feel my hand warming up there on the wheel. So yeah, let's see whether it's heated all the way around. It's definitely heated up to, oh, it's definitely on now. It's heated up to at least the scrolly wheels. What about down here? Yeah. Yeah, it's heated all the way through, definitely. For sure. That's definitely on now. Ooh, yeah, that's toasty. Yeah, I can imagine if you're in sub-zero temps, sub-zero Celsius temps, that would be quite nice. I'm gonna try and put two hands on the wheel. Okay, holding it there. There we go. Oh, that is nice. That's nice and toasty. Very good. Well, I suppose if you're in a cold climate, that's another reason to get a long range Model 3 at least, to get that heated steering wheel. Very nice. And then to turn it off, you just press the aircon button again and go to uh, heating and just turn that off. All right, that's pretty easy. All right, let's have a look at the rest of the car now. And um, yep, I've just pressed the open frunk accidentally, but we will look at the frunk as well. Let's uh, just scan around there, there's that uh, door uh, wood grain that extends all the way around. Uh, again, you see the grain there goes upwards that way towards the door, not parallel to the door. That's a consistent feature I found in the Model 3 SR Plus and again on the long range here. All right, and scanning across there, same sort of thing. This side as well, the wood grain goes that way. And of course, all the 2021 refresh Model 3 features are all here. Uh, we've got the wireless charging pad there built in. We've got the uh, center console there. That slides, and then you've got the drink holders. And then inside, nice roomy uh, center console. Let's uh, have a look at the back of the car. And of course, there you have the, uh, to open the door, the buttons there. I'll just close it again to show you guys. So you press that button, which has got the uh, door open icon, and that opens the door. Let's have a look at the glass to ensure it is double glazed. Yes, there it is, very nice. And this does it shut nicely, sure does. These are very nice carbon fiber door handles that Anshul has told me that the detailer installed for him. And there's a ceramic coat on the car. Car has been ceramic coated. Looks lovely, doesn't it? All right, let's have a look at the back. I do love the red. Love red cars. USB-C charging ports there. And there's the wood grain 
extending from the door to the front and then to the other side as well. Very good. I do wanted to wanted to have a look at the um, speaker grill. As you guys know, when I did the um, comparison with the SR Plus, the speaker grill was different. So let's have a look at the long range version. Yep, same sort of thing. The speaker grill looks different as well. Uh, you can't see the grid pattern behind, so that's a new feature of uh, long range as well as SR Plus. Nice pedals there. Yep, I was just going to ask that question. Angel just told me behind me that, um, that they've been uh, modified third party, so nice pedals there. A bit more performance looking. I like it. And there's the, um, the seat adjustment knobs there. Pretty self explanatory. What I do want to have a look at is the um, underside of the car. I can't comment yet, obviously, because um, <laughs> I'm still doing the vlog with you guys, but I want to go under the car here and uh, have a look at the grill for you. So hopefully you can see that on camera later on in post. I'll have a look at it there, but hopefully we'll see something there through the speaker grill. Okay. All right, let's have a look at inside the frunk. All right, so these license plate holders are a gift from Tesla. The Wingfield family on delivery day in my other video also got a pair as well, the front and back. There's the uh, universal uh, charger that comes with the car. The Type 2 on one end, and then 15 amps and 10 amps on the other side. Two tails as well, right there. We got 15 amps, 10 amps. All right, and yep, Angel's got the uh, the Tesla um, uh, uh, frunk mat. There we are. And under the car, there, same sort of look as in other cars. All right, let's close the frunk. Very easy to do. Just gentle pressure near the T. There we are. Okay, let's have a look at panel gaps. I brought my trusty plastic ruler, which doesn't scratch. Very flexible. We'll just take a couple of random points. Let's do the front of the car now. Hopefully you guys can see that. That is, yep, four mil, bang on. Four millimeters. And down here also about four mils, so good to see some consistency. Can you guys see that? Yes, you can. Four mils. And then let's go to the B panel. Yep, that's about four mils as well. And going down here. Yep, once again four mils. Very good. Let's go to where the rear door meets the back. Four mils. And yep, four mils. So pretty good on the driver's side. Let's have a look at this one. Yep, that's also four mils. Now this has been a problematic one. I've seen in other cars as well on the pass on the driver's side uh, where the lift hatch gate meets the, uh, the light. So as you can see up here, it's uh, very tight, probably more like three up here. And then as I scan down the car here, you can see how the gap widens. And then down here, that's probably more like, probably more like six. So that's actually quite a wide gap there. And uh, it's not unique to this car. I've seen other cars with a similar issue. Uh, so it might be just a batch issue from the factory where the right-hand side is um, problematic. And then again, you can see the misalignment of the, um, the light on that passenger, on the driver's side. And that's a very similar feature as well of, um, of other Model 3s in this batch. Let's have a look at the, uh, the boot gap there. That's about four, that's pretty good. Then on this side, that's a little bit wider, probably more like five or six. So a bit of a discrepancy there. And pretty flush there. As I come across to the uh, passenger side, uh, where the lift gate meets the rest of the car, that's about five mils. And then coming up to, up to top here, that's about three there, three mils. And that's about four four mils there and these look pretty good too and that's about four mils four mils so it looks like the doors are pretty consistent uh, side to side that's about five mils maybe but uh, certainly that lift gate is a bit of an issue currently uh, for the model threes and the front looks pretty consistent as well let's take another random point there that's about four mils 
and that's about four mils as well. So pretty good up the front for Anschul's uh, long range Model 3. All right, last thing I wanna show you guys is the boot, which is now of course powered. Let's press that button there underneath the T. Up it goes, fascinating stuff. And if I go into the boot there and uh, plug, shout out to um, Anschul's store in Plumpton. Go visit him at the Optus store in Plumpton. Thanks very much, Anshul, for your time again. And uh, he also got a Model 3 trunk mat. And uh, very, very spacious inside the boot there, as you can see. I love it. Very good for a car this size. And looks nice too up there. A little bit of red paint. My model, well, Joy's Model 3 also has that. A bit of red paint, probably less on the new ones. Less bleeding into the uh, into the car body itself from the paint and got some extra storage there on the side and then if you lift up the mat underneath there's a little space here as well and the all new model threes now from shanghai come with a uh, roadside assistance kit and uh, anshul do you mind opening that for us just want to see what's inside Okay, so what do we get inside the kit there? Hmm. Is that gauze? Yeah, I've never opened it. Yeah. That looks like a stand, I guess. Oh yeah, just to put on the side of the road if you're in trouble. Ah, uh, yep, yep, perfect. Yes. Yeah, it's probably a stand as well. Just a reflective one. Yeah, good. And then that looks like a first aid kit. First aid. Yeah. Okay. What's that one? Uh, oh, yeah, high vis. Like high vis. The rest, yeah. yeah. yeah the Do you want to open it up, show us? Yeah. Yes, okay, high vis suit. All right. That's fine, you have to open it up. Get the idea. Yep, yeah. that color. And then, yep, first aid kit. Now, this is what I'd be interested in. Got some gauze strips. What's that one? Some more gauze. Oh, a pair of scissors too. Do you want to hold that for a second? I might go through that. Thank you. Okay, so, oh, this is very curious. So, yep, some gauze. Very nice. A pair of scissors. This is always handy in emergencies. A pair of gloves. Very good. What's this? Some more ribbon gauze. More gauze. Wow. Various shapes and sizes. What's this one? Uh, First day blanket, okay. Guess to keep someone uh, nice and uh, warm if they're starting to get too cold in an emergency. This looks like alcohol wipes, okay. Always handy. And some band-aids or dressings, I guess. I can see through the packaging there. Some more gauze, more packing gauze. Wow, that's a lot of gauze. <laughs> yeah, I guess if someone's bleeding, it's always handy. And, uh, yep, some tape. Tape's always handy as well in an emergency. More gauze. Wow, that is a lot of gauze. And this looks like a sling, maybe, or maybe a tourniquet. Uh, English. English. Triangular bandage. Okay, that's what it is. Triangular bandage. Uh, this, before, I couldn't tell what was... Uh, what was this one? Let's see. English. English. GB. Compressive bandage. Okay, so some more gauze and bandage and things. Right. Very interesting. Well, that's actually quite a good gift from Tesla to, for people to have uh, in an emergency. Cool. Uh, I'll pack this up for Anshul off camera. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to the end of our charging session. So where are the stats? So we just pan across this way, give you a better shot. There we go. All right, after 31 minutes, so it's taken us 31 minutes to review the interior of the car and talk to you guys and uh, it's charged 46 kilowatt hours so it's got us from 20 to 80 percent 81 percent thereabouts um yeah it's given us a, it's still 50 kilowatts after 81 percent that's pretty good um yeah nice excellent i might stop that there at 80 percent i think that's enough charge there we go the symbols turn white i'm gonna unhook the charger put it back the cradle yeah have a great day drive safe we will do thank you ev that was fantastic thank you for the charging session all right everyone 
from Anshul and myself, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much Anshul again for loaning us your beautiful long range Tesla Model 3. Congratulations on taking delivery of your car. And uh, if guys, if you've enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up, really appreciate that. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already yet. And uh, leave a comment below if you've just taken delivery of a brand new Tesla Model 3. Hope you're enjoying it. And uh, again, stay safe. Until the next video, happy charging.